In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down a quick pass that you can use to really do a good job against man-to-man -man coverage and zone coverage in Madden NFL 21. I'm uh, going to break down a little uh, West Coast mini scheme for you here. We've got two plays that I want to show you. This is just something very simple that you can do um, in this year's game. Now, uh, more than likely when you come out in this formation, you're going to be facing nickel 35 wide, and we know cover one robber is probably the best way to play the game this year at launch. Now, again, guys, for those of you guys that are just new to the channel, my name's Cody, and my channel is entirely devoted to helping you improve your game in Madden 21. So what we're going to be talking about right now is we are going to be going into a quick pass out of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite formations in men history, and that is the uh, sh uh, single back, or um, I'm sorry, the um, far tight slot in the West Coast playbook. Now, um, real quick, guys, if you're new to the channel, what I do is I, uh, again, I make content that helps you get better at Madden, and so if you really want to get better at the game, one of the things I want to encourage you to do right now is I want to encourage you to join our Discord. If you haven't already, the Discord is a great place. It's basically a community hub where you can meet other members from my channel. It's a place where you can chat, where you can talk, where you can talk Madden, where you can learn from other people. You can get your questions answered. You can also set up lab games uh, for better competition. And again, remember, you're the average of the five people you associate with most. So that Discord is a really, really important part of my channel. So if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe, but also make sure you join the Discord. Okay, so curls uh this play right here and we're going to run curls in combination with fullback dive so you can set both of these plays in your audibles here uh, i like to personally come out in the fullback dive every play but what you're going to see is this fullback dive um, is still probably one of the better runs of the game this year as you see you're able to you're really able to take advantage of inside runs this year i think inside inside runs in general are the best way to play the game at least starting out um, outside runs don't get the same blocking that they were able to get, but as you can see here, I can run this right or left side um, just with a simple playmaker uh, of Kyler Murray, but you're going to see against this is 3-3-5 wide. In my opinion, this is one of the better run defenses that a lot of people are using um, at launch. Basically, what they're going to do is um, they're going to spy uh, the safeties, and you'll see here they'll pinch their line crash their line down, uh, but you're going to see this fullback dive is just going to be a consistent yard gainer for you. Now, this quick pass off of it is actually really, really effective this year. So, Curls, this is a very, um, this is a Madden favorite of mine, personally. Um, this was really one of the first schemes that I learned when I was coming up the ranks uh, in Madden 12, uh, Madden 11 even, I was running this. So, uh, far tight slot, all you're going to do is you're going to motion Fitzgerald to the right, and you're going to get a basically a motion snap. You're just going to motion in one step, and you're going to snap the ball. And what you're going to see is we're going to create a man uh, switch with the uh, corner and the middle linebacker. So if you're facing man-to-man -man coverage, this is a quick pass that you can use to really easily dot it. So basically what's going to happen is there's going to be a simple man switch that's going to occur, and you're, either your running back or Fitzgerald is going to be open, depending on where that man switch occurs. You see right there, you get that cross. And flat routes this year are actually very, very uh, good. Um, they're really good this year. Uh, and so when you throw this route, what you're going to see is he's going to snap back, and you can actually work it work it into your motion with the fullback dive. One of the things I like to do with this is I will literally motion Fitzgerald out like I'm running the curls play. And then what I'm, I can do, you're going to see this little pocket's going to open up on that left side, and I can do that cut. Uh, very, very simple running play. Now what I want to do is I want to show you the pass play here. So again, curls, and all you're going to do is just hit that quick, hit that quick route to the running back. Now, again, it's not always going to be there for you. If the running back's taken away, though, I do want you to understand – if the running back is taken away, if this little quick quick route's taken away, as you see there, it's just a snap throw, get the ball out of your hands, five yards. Again, this is what the West Coast is all about. West Coast is simple, quick passes. Simple, quick passes against man, against zone, and that's what I love about it. So uh, this this route here to Fitzgerald, you can low ball this, uh, and as you can see right there, you're going to get a quick four, quick five, quick four, quick five. And they're going to become very, very frustrated with this. So more than likely what they're going to do is they're going to press coverage. They might even press you. They might shake coverage underneath, um, do some of those different uh, things like that. But you see here, this is this route's going to be... This route's going to be good for you. Um, sometimes he will drop the ball depending on the coverage shell that they're facing. But again, we have some other reads that you can run off of this as well. So um, you're going to motion Fitzgerald out. Now, when he comes across, you're just going to hit one of these curl routes. You can hit either Fitzgerald on the initial route. You can hit him up when he sits, or you can hit that backside curl to DeAndre Hopkins. Now, what I like to do with that backside curl is I like to actually um, go ahead and put him on a smart routed hitch route as opposed to that stock curl. I just like to hitch it a little bit better personally. Um, just kind of been my, my thing. But you see here against man-to-man, -man, if they press man, 
you see that um, didn't get a, didn't get quite the best animation there. But what you're going to see is this is going to turn into um, a, a spacing concept in essence. So hitches this year, if they press, what they do to keep them unbumpable is they're basically going to settle up for about three or four yards. So all you're going to do is low ball down. And we're getting lurked here by McCordy, but you're you're literally going to be able to do this. Now, you might want to wait just a second for it to settle up, but literally, I've thrown this route like 9,000 times. Um, cover one press, if they're in any press coverage whatsoever, you're going to be able to still hit this hitch route, and that's what makes it so good this year. Just low ball that hitch route right there. Literally, what they have to do to stop that is they're going to have to put their yellow zones. Um, and the reason that I like this route so much is because what they're going to do to stop that is they're going to put their yellow hook zones in like a five yard hook or a zero yard hook to get those hooks zone to come down. And then you can high point it on the backside. See right here, see how the passing lanes just open up. Um, this is such a good quick pass guys. In my opinion, it's one of the better quick passes in Madden 21. Um, what's also really cool about this is you can actually run this to the right side of the screen. So I could motion Fitzgerald out just like this right here. And what you'll see is he's going to just settle up against man. Just a low ball. That's all I'm doing. Um, just a low ball uh, curl route against man. This gets in really weird spaces and zones. And what you're going to find out about Madden 21 is you, the hitch route, the curl route, you want to find as many ways to get this ball um, going on your offense as you possibly can. Uh, for some reason, I'm throwing it a little, I think I'm throwing it a little bit too early here. But we'll show you this again. Again, this is just a simple motion snap. Um, I'm telling you right now, though, guys, uh, curls this year is so good, as you can see right there. Man-to-man, um, -man, that's on Stephon Gilmore. And that's just a quick five. That's what the West Coast is all about. I'm actually thinking of running uh, some West Coast concepts this year. So if you guys are interested um, in seeing more of that, make sure to be in the Discord. We're going to be releasing uh, different tips and strategies to that. But, guys, this is the offense. I mean, this this little route right here can do so much for you. Um, you do want to put a little practice mode time into actually understanding the route. Now, if you know they're going to be in man-to-man -man coverage, let's just say you know they're going to be in man-to-man -man coverage, right? One of the things that I do like to do against man-to-man -man is I will take the running back and put him on a swing route to the right. And what you'll see here is Fitzgerald, um, when he snaps back, is now going to be a little bit more open because you've cleared out the space. I still like flat routes this year, though. Um, if you can navigate the flat route, the flat route can sometimes get a little glitchy. Uh, uh, from a defensive perspective, they'll be able to lock that up um, fairly simply. Uh, but this far tight, I'm telling you guys, this really does have a play this year. Right when he gets out, see, there, there's the switch that I'm talking about right there. So... And if they have their cornerback set, if they have their man coverage set to play a specific way, which they probably will if they're if they're um, a smart player, you're going to see the switch is not always going to occur. But see that little cross right there? Now, obviously Hightower picked that ball off, but the illustration is the idea of a natural pick and rub. It's a natural pick and rub for the, uh, for the defender. So what that means for your offense is when Fitzgerald snaps back off of this zone, He's going to get low ball. And as soon as he curls back up, you've got an easy dot. Now, you can leave Fitzgerald on his route if you wanted to. You don't even have to do the motion if you don't want to. Um, he's going to get on a, a little bit deeper depth there. But in my opinion, the motion snap does work really well, especially for blitzing defenses, especially for defenses that are going to try to take advantage of you from a pressure perspective. We'll show this against you, man, one more time, and then we'll talk about zone. we we'll literally just snap. Um, you don't want to you don't want to double tap circle. You want to throw it to circle, um, but literally all you're going to do motion him out and just work on your timing on this. But inside pass lead right there. McCourty ended up getting me. McCourty ended up getting me on that. Now again, if you can't do the snap throw, if you can't get that down, let him just wait till he curls up. It's not that big of a deal. Um, you're going to be able to move this route. Is going to be really really good as you see here. Low ball. Low ball, just a little pop pass right there for a quick three, quick three, quick three, quick three. Now, against zone, this is going to kill zone. Uh, zone does not stand a chance against this play. Uh, curls, the idea of settle up a noose right from the air raid. Um, curls just kill zone this year. So, again, you're going to just snap right through, and Fitzgerald's going to be wide open. Again, a quick five, a quick five, a quick five, a quick five. Now, if they get undisciplined, right, if they get undisciplined, um, you'll see here you're tied in is also going on a route. So let's say they lower all their zones underneath. 
Well, you get this little pop pass right here to the tight end, and that's no joke this year. That seam route is really real. They're going to have to use her to defend that up top. So a really, really good play. In my opinion, this is one of the best quick passes uh, in Madden 21. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this play. There's some videos that I want you to check out, check out that are going to come up on the screen here in just a second. But really quickly, before I jump off, I want to encourage you, if you're just finding my channel and you really want to take your game to the next level, I upload four videos a day on YouTube. I also stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern time. You can watch me play live. And uh, last night was not a good night, but we did get some live labbing in. Uh, but also make sure you're in the Discord and make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. We've got a lot of stuff coming for you in Madden 21. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys tonight at 10 o'clock.